Damn. Yes, sir. We finally made it. Man, hold on. What you said, man? I said I feel like a traitor. I don't think I'm welcome back in Dallas. Oh yeah, because we coming to the NRG Stadium before the AT&T, man. You making the right choice, man. Good job. Man. Oh, nah, I feel ashamed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, finally made it to our seats, man. All right, man. So basically, man, look. I was coming in the parking, right? It cost thirty dollars to park. And so I, I was my homeboy, my roommate right here, Chris. That was some bullshit. <laughs> so he pulled out his credit card. We paid, right? The machine didn't work. So I used my card. The machine didn't work. Then the lady said, you know, we take tips. And I didn't think about it in my mind. She waited like 10 seconds. Then she called the manager. I was like, dang. I could have paid her, you know, something less to get in the parking. You know what I'm saying? But this man going to tell me, oh, your car's messed up. I said, sir, it's not the car. We just use two different cars. It's clearly your machine. And then the next person to us that was swiping the cars too, their machine was messed up too. He came up to us, our car said, sir, sir, it's not our car. So I pulled up and I parked the car. He said, you can't park here. I said, I don't care. Stop talking to me. I'm not finna circle around. And he kept on telling me to circle around. I did not circle around. And I finally circled around, man. Then I talked to the police said, man, y'all corrupted. And then I circled back around, but I ain't gonna lie, I couldn't in front of everybody because I was not finna wait that long. Then I went to the left, the far left lane. Guess what? My car worked. Black lady hooked us up, man. She was a real one. Oh, the other dude, he get these hands. I don't know about real. like a bitch. <laughs> we want your experience at tonight's game to be great. We ask you to please be considerate of the fans around you. So the quarterback sold it, man. Chris, how you feel about the quarterback, man? He's sorry, bro. He <laughs> took too many picks. 
Three interceptions, one pick return. Come on, Literally, now, if it wasn't for the defense, we would have got blown out. Our defense held us there. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Like, man, that was a good experience, though. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty fun, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah, bro. We might be sleeping out here. I had trouble getting... I almost fell. <laughs> oh shit. Hold on. Oh my god. Help me, Father. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. There we go. Back in the middle. Oh, Sam, man. Just chilling. So, man, we tried to go to the Moody Tower to go cop some grub. They was closed for the Labor Day weekend. So we went to Wingstop Grub, me, Chris, and my boy Keith, man, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we just chilling on here, man, enjoying the time. Yeah, man, but the game, it was pretty cool, man, good experience. I wish, uh, you feel me, not trying to talk down the quarterback, but I wish he didn't sell a little same cap. He sold four interceptions. Come on, bro. You looking like Matt Shaw about that, man. You got to get, you, you get your game together, brother. But, yeah, but. I mean, that was a Big 12 team. You know, we in All-American. So, if we was that close, we should be kicking butt this season. But, yeah, man, I'm finna go ahead and tune out. Go upstairs and stay tuned, man. If I want it, I'ma get it. All I'm worried about is counting digits. Riding the spinner, ain't talking Fiji. My pocket tall, yo, pocket midget. Your pocket litter, can I be serious? Man, this shit here getting delirious. And your face looking real mysterious. Yeah, I know it's getting